Hello friends, thank you for joining this video. This is Kumar from Ignited Mind. And uh, in this video, I will cover uh, the first AI agent that I had created. Of course, it's long back. So at Ignited Mind, we help our customers uh, to provide information on how AI agents can benefit them. And we also help uh, provide uh, and build AI agents for the customers. So without further ado, let's uh, just quickly understand what we'll be doing here. So uh, you don't require any prior knowledge about AI agent. If you, of course, don't know like what it is, you can just search on YouTube. There are like millions of videos that are available on this topic. So I'll not be covering it again. Um, and uh, so what we'll be doing is we'll create one supervisor agent and two worker agents. And uh, this is a very basic agent. So our uh, first worker agent will create stories for kids or you can make it to a different work if you like. And second work, worker agent will provide 10 different suitable titles for stories. To achieve this, we will use Flowwise, uh, which is a visual AI framework and we'll use ChatGPT LLM integration to achieve this use case. And uh, I plan to do a series of video around AI agents. So we'll move to more complex and usable agents uh, in coming videos. So please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video. What is Flowwise? So Flowwise is an open source low code UI uh, that is built on top of Langchain. If you don't know about Langchain and Langgraph, they're very, very powerful tools. Uh, but with Flowwise, it, it uh, works very, very easily and it enables developers to use a visual drag and drop interface to create uh, powerful AI agents. And it also offers integration with hundreds of LLMs. So any LLM that you can think of, like most of them, OpenAI, Llama, Hugging Face, uh, everything is there. And then you can also uh, use vector database integrations for things like Pinecone, uh, ChromaDB, Quadrant, and other APIs. And of course, you can do integration with tools. Uh, don't be overwhelmed. Uh, by the information because uh, you just need to uh, start at some place, right? So this video can be a very good starting point for you. So Flowwise simplifies the creation of uh, multi-step AI pipelines, including uh, reg, uh, that is um, primarily you can think of reg as uh, giving a memory to a agent. And uh, it can also be used for agent-based reasoning and automation. And uh, mm, like I said, it supports LangGraph and it's ideal for building LLM agents, uh, chatbots, automation scripts, and uh, AI enhanced uh, applications. Why we are using Flowwise and not some other framework is primarily because it makes it very easy with the integration with LangChain and LangGraph to create a AI agent. Uh, and it's purely drag and drop. So you will not require uh, much knowledge about coding. Actually, no prior knowledge about coding also is required for at least this video and use case. As we gradually will move to more advanced use cases, uh, some additional, uh, some a little bit of coding may be required. So it's modular and it's scalable and it's self-hosted. So what we will do here is we will deploy Flowwise on our system. And then we will uh, create our AI agent using Flowwise and uh, ChatGPT integration. So without further ado, let's go to our system. We have this uh, Flowwise GitHub repository. I will leave a link to this one in the description of this video. So you can just visit this GitHub repository and we will uh, basically clone this repository and then we'll set up a Docker environment and uh, we can bring the docker up so what i have did is i have already deployed docker and docker compose on my system i have a virtual box where i have deployed uh, linux uh, ubuntu basically 22.04 that we will use as our base system and i'm connected to this one using uh, putty so let me just clear the history and what i'll do is i'll just clone this flowwise repository here
okay our repository is cloned so we'll just go to the flowwise directory and then in the docker directory and here you can see uh, docker compose uh, yml is there and we also have dot env dot example file so what we'll do is um, we'll just um, rename this dot env dot example to dot env dot env yes now i'll say docker compose up iPhone D. So it's basically uh, giving some errors uh, because the number of variables are not set, which we deliberately did not set. So if you uh, need these variables to set up, then you can edit them in dot env file. So it will take a few moments. So I'll probably do a fast forward uh, here. Okay, so uh, our Docker containers have came up. I can use Docker PS to see if our containers are up. And uh, yes, looks like we are good. So we have our container Docker Flowwise 1, which is up and running. Now uh, we will access this. So by default, Flowwise uh, points to port 3000, and I have data port forwarding in my Linux system. So I should be able to uh, open it using localhost colon 3000. And yeah, we are in the Flowwise AI interface. And here you can see all the options on the left side. We have chat flows, agent flows, assistant. Marketplace has a lot of applications that can be leveraged. And then we have API keys. So uh, there's one default key that is there currently. Uh, that's okay. So uh, what we'll do is we'll create our agents now. So to do that, uh, let's click on add new. And here we can create our first AI agent. So to do that, I'll click on this plus sign and uh, we'll scroll down and uh, use the supervisor and worker uh, agents. So first let me create a supervisor agent here. And then I'll go back and I'll say uh, worker agent. Okay. And I can of course reduce the size of this one so that it's completely visible. And um, I can also copy a worker node again so that we have got two workers. So what we will be doing is uh, we'll have one worker node as a storyteller. So let's give it the name as storyteller and other uh, worker will have the name of title generator and in the um, worker prompt right we'll give that description what we need okay so i'll say you are a writer please write stories for kids in the bracket of a to 12 years the stories should be lighthearted and funny involving let's say animals and the stories should be around uh, 500 words. So that's what I'll tell to my uh, worker node one and worker node two, I'll tell you have to come up with creative titles of story shared with you by story teller note and 
create 10 titles for every story chat. Okay, I'll click on save and supervisor also I'll give some work. So there are some parameters that are already defined and then we'll just append our uh, additional parameters here. So please get the story from storyteller node or I'll say storyteller worker and pass it on to title generator and uh, share save and I'll do so let's see if our additional parameters are saved yeah we look good now we need to connect them so to connect them you will see we have the supervisor written here and supervisor can be connected on this supervisor section in the worker node similarly we will connect it to the other one as well so i'll connect it to supervisor and then the most important part is we now need to uh, connect our uh, chat models here so i'll scroll down we'll use chat gpd uh, there are multiple models that are here and i personally like working with open open source model also like chatolama but for now for this uh, video we'll use chat open ai so i'll just drag it and drop here and let's get it to the same level and then uh, i'll connect it to the supervisor node here and we also need to connect it with the api so to generate the api key right you need to go to the open ai uh, platform and here go to the dashboard and api keys so open ai charges uh, some amount for the um, tokens and it's not very costly it's pretty cheap if you top it up by like five dollars you should get more than enough tokens for that testing uh, the tokens are uh, basically the unit of uh, llm tools uh, probably we'll do a separate session if required but there are a lot of youtube videos that are already there that describe in detail like what are the tokens what are their uh, limitations and pricing etc so for now i'll click on new secret key and i'll name it as um, story agent and uh, let it be default project and i'll say create secret key i can copy my key from here and now what i'll do is i'll go to flow wise and i'll go to connect credential and i'll say create new and here i can copy paste my uh, key and this i'll give a name like story api and i'll click on add so while you can also achieve uh, similar results by using chat gpt also but this will be a lot more efficient in achieving that uh, the stories uh, i mean because we are basically dividing the work between two different nodes and uh, it, it's a good idea to have multiple nodes and make one node do one particular work so i think we should be good for now now to get the stories created we can just click on this chat box here and here we can tell what kind of uh, studies we are looking at so let me just close this one we need to save it first so i'll save this one uh, i'll say story and title agent and I'll save it here and then we'll go to this chat box and we'll create a story so um, i'll just say uh, line and rabbit that's it and uh, the magic should get started so the supervisor node will get into the action and you can see it's asking the storyteller node to create a story involving a lion and a rabbit and uh, storyteller node is creating the story and you can see the story is created and then it has passed it on to the uh, title generator node right so 
uh, the story is completed and here it goes to the title generator node and our title generator node has created the titles right and uh, we just asked to create a story about the lion and the rabbit right but if you will look at the titles generated by the title generator node right it says roars and flop from king to comrade so it actually goes through the entire story before it generates the title right so though what we are achieving here is pretty basic we are just connecting the llm uh, model uh, and we are not using any tools or anything but we will be gradually uh, going more advanced so i'll uh, have a set of different videos around creating more complex uh, agents that will add much more value but for now we should be good so thanks a lot for joining for this video please make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video